We're going to create a drawing from this part and set up a custom template as well as do a section view so we can see the symmetry uh, in a flat pattern from this uh, round shape. So to get started, we'll click over drawing. It should automate a bunch of preferences. Know that we can go from our drawing to our model tab pretty quickly in Inventor. We're going to go to our sheet and just uh, delete the border and the title block and then right click on the sheet and edit sheet. So I will delete the title block and the border, right click and edit sheet. We're going to make sure it's A size and landscape. Once we have that selected, we're gonna create our own border. So go to manage, and then we'll create border. We'll create a seven and three quarters by 10 and a quarter two point rectangle for the border. Feel free to move your border so that it is centered. Once it is to your liking, you can right click and hit save border and we'll just call this an A size. Now, when we go to drawing resources and we go to border, our A size border should be there. We'll double click that and it should be imported right into our drawing. Now we're going to add a title block and we'll customize our title block to add everything that we'd like. Under the same toolbar up here, we'll click title block. And we're going to use two point rectangles, some text and some dimensions to get this kind of lined up. Here's where we can dimension all of our boxes. And once our metal block is created, it should snap pretty nicely to the order that we've created. Feel free to make sure everything is properly aligned the way you like it. I'm going to add some text. And in the format text, we're going to make this 0.125. If we want, we can add a properties here. And we'll say properties drawing. And we'll call this first one the author or the institution. If I wanted to read the properties, I'll create another text item. Make sure my height is the same. Select my properties for my drawing. And for the title, I'll just make sure I add the text parameter by clicking this button here. And I'll hit OK. That should automatically fill that in for us. And we'll go through and add any other things that we need to. Once you feel good about your title block, just right click, save title block. And we'll call this A horizontal. 
Now from here, you can go down to your title blocks in your drawing resources and select a horizontal by double clicking it. You can also now save this as, or go over to your file, save as, and then we can click save copy as a template. And for this drawing template, we can call this our A size H. We can also save this as our actual part here. Now, once we have our customized sheet, we can start adding our views. I'm going to place the base view. So I'll go over to place views and click base view. Make sure you orient it to the right view. And I am going to choose a three quarter scale for this particular And I'll hit OK. We're now going to click and create a section view. So we can cut this part in half. To do that, I'm going to first move it over in space. I'll click Section. And it wants me to pick a view or a sketch. So I'll click that first. I'll make sure it lines up with the middle of my part. And then just drag it through. I'll right click and hit Continue. And now I'm getting a whole section view as it's cut down the middle. For now, I will make sure that the uh, label visibility is off. You can go over to your part here and just make sure that your label visibility is off. We can also make sure that like the display style is changed. So you can say hidden line is removed. So if the hidden line removed is check, we can uncheck or check, and we can always go back and change that. We're now asking to place this view. I'm gonna click it, and then it should place that view. Lastly, I'm going to create an isometric uh, view of this part. So I'll do a uh, projected view. I'll click my base again, and then I'm gonna draw that right, click in that space right there. You can right click and hit create. I'm gonna hover over to that section view, right click it, and then I'm gonna retrieve model annotations. We'll say select parts, and here we can select the dimensions that make the most amount of sense, and then we can hit okay. I can select uh, my base view here and also select parts, select the diameter of each of those. Now I'm going to reorganize a lot of my dimensions and make sure everything makes a little bit of sense. This is a good time to save once all the dimensions are pulled. If you have an extra dimension you don't need, you can always right click a dimension and delete. To make sure your drawing's working and if you have any other things you need to adjust as you're designing, let's say we go back to our part and we want to change our circular pattern. We'll right click and edit that feature. And let's say we want six holes. We'll hit OK. I'm going to save that. And I'll go back to my drawing and see it updates automatically. That way I know everything is linked and working. And I have a complete model in drawing together. Don't forget to add in things 
like your angular dimensions, any annotations, and things like a center bisector line will look really good between here and here.